As you guessed it, judging by my hoodie, we're doing a Leupold gear review today of the BX5 Santium HD binoculars. I'm Todd Helms with Eastman's Hunting Journals. And I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know about the Leupold BX5 Santium HD binoculars. Both the 10x42s that I have here and the 15x56s that I've got mounted up on the tripod. Well, I'm out here today, it's December, it's nice out here. I've got a late season cow tag and I'm actually covering some country with these Leupold binoculars looking for a cow, looking for some elk. And so when I was tasked with doing this gear review on the BX5 Santium HDs, I jumped at it. I mean, who wouldn't want to go out and play with a new pair of 10x42s and 15x56 binoculars? So the first thing that jumps out at me with the Leupold BX5 Santium HDs is the brightness, the optical brightness that these binoculars offer. Both models, both the 10s and the 15s, exceptionally bright, exceptionally bright optic. Very crisp, very clear, and I'd expect that from HD glass, but it seems like the Leupolds just have a little extra pop to them when it comes to light gathering and the brightness involved. That's been the case in all of Leupold's optics for me, from their scopes to their spotting scopes and the gold ring line to the right rifle scopes, the BX5 Santiums HDs do the same thing. They're bright, they're crisp, and they're clear. They offer a very, very high contrast image through the lens. And I'm, I've been tearing this country apart looking for elk, and I haven't found any elk yet, but I've turned up deer, I've turned up pronghorn. I even saw some chuckers over here. Let's just dive into the Leupold BX5 Santium HDs and look at some of the product features that make these a super, super value for what you're gonna spend. Obviously, what jumps out right out of the gate, it's, it's gonna be noticeable when you pick them up, is the light weight of these. Both the 10 by 42 and the 15 by 56s that I've got mounted up on the tripod, which, both of these come tripod mountable ready, which is really nice. Even with 10 powers, it's amazing to me how much more stable you can get and how much more you can pick out of your environment when you're mounted up on a tripod, whether it's 10s or 15s, you're gonna get more. That said, you don't need a tripod for these, either one, because they're super light in the hand. That's one thing I picked these up and I was kinda like, whoa, that's it? That's all there is to these? They're really light, which is nice, especially when you're packing them around in a chest pack on backcountry hunts, having a, you know, ounces equal pounds and pounds equal pain in the backcountry guys and having a lightweight set of optics that performs at a high level is crucial to your backcountry success when you start getting into the four, five, six, seven, eight and beyond day mark. Everything adds up and having lightweight, high performance optics makes a difference. As always, these binoculars, the whole lineup, everything Leupold offers has that unconditional lifetime guarantee or warranty and I've never personally had to put that warranty to use. I've known guys who have. My father, in fact, had an older Leupold rifle scope that he had to send back, and they fixed it no questions asked or no problems. It's nice to know that when you spend money on a well-made, high-quality product, if, heaven forbid, something does happen, that company's got your back, and Leupold has your back with that warranty. All right, so one of the things that you're gonna notice when you pick these up is the professional grade optical system that Leupold uses. That's the glass, guys, for lack of a better term. I said it was crisp, I said it was clear, I said it was bright, but I would put these up against any binocular on the market for clarity and for crispness and light transmission. These things are incredible. You pull them up and the landscape that you're glassing just pops, absolutely pops with the HD glass and that proprietary lens system that Leupold uses. Leupold claims that you can use these things across a ridiculous range of temperatures. I've used them so far today, well in the last couple days glassing, everything from about 25 degrees to right around two or three below with some of the wind chills that we've been looking at, I've had zero issues. No fogging, no condensation issues, they just work, they just perform. And that's what, honestly, that's what I would expect from a, from a Leupold product. 
Let's get into some of the specific product features that make the BX5 Santium HDs just top tier. We've got an open bridge roof prism design on these, which helps make these really, really lightweight and really ergonomic and easy to use. That kind of kicks off our feature list for these binoculars. Next, we have the Guard Ion or Guardion lens coating. So I said that these were really, really bright and really clear, high light transmission on these. That's thanks to the Diamond Coat 2 lens coating that they use. It's going to protect your lens, but it's also going to aid in light transmission. And when you pick a set of these up, do yourself a favor. Don't just look in the fluorescent lighting of a store through these. Take them out in the parking lot. Ask the sales associate to, hey, I want to take these outside. Because guys, binoculars, hunting, sporting optics are designed to be used outdoors and you can't get the full measure of how good these are until you look at them outside. Going hand in glove with the Diamond Coat 2 is the fully multi-coated lens system. And that just, again, it's another proprietary advantage that Leupold has in light transmission, clarity, and brightness. So along with the thing, all the features that I just listed out and the HD glass, is what Leupold calls phase coated or phase coating. What that does is it takes all that light transmission and all that super clear picture and it widens it out edge to edge. These things, both the 10s and the 15s, are very crisp and clear all the way to the edge of your field of view. The way I look at that is if it feels like I'm looking through a toilet paper roll, the outside of my sight picture is kind of fuzzy. I can move my eye around a little bit in while I'm holding these and I can move my eyes around and I can't see like my peripheral vision is fuzzy. That's a mark of an optic that's not quite up to snuff. These BX5 Santium HDs don't have that and that's that phase coating. One of the things I noticed when I open up the box about these is the eye cups are really comfortable and it has I have them pulled off here right now, but there are caps that fit over that you can leave on this as well. These are field replaceable eye cups. In other words, if something happens in the field, I could screw it off, screw a new one on. All right, so like I said, I've been using both the 10 by 42s and the 15 by 56s. The 15s come with this handy dandy binocular harness strap. And all it is is a strap and a tray I slip them in there, I tighten it down, and it goes right on my tripod. Using 15s without something to rest them on, something solid like a tripod, is really difficult, guys. They wanna, wa they wanna wobble on you just because 15 powers a lot of magnification to try to hold steady in your hands. It's not like 10s or 8s where you can lock in with your elbows and you can get really solid. But I think if you look at these two binoculars as a system, like I've been using them the last few days looking for elk where I'm using quick glass and moderate distance with my 10s and we'll pull up to a spot and I'm looking, scanning, looking quick, okay. And then when I really need to tear something apart like the country, this distant country over my right shoulder, I whip out the 15s and I get to work. And I can really dissect all those little nooks and crannies in the landscape and look for those elk, look for those deer, whatever it is I need to turn up. The 10s are great for quick glassing and you're every day in and out of a chest rig. They're perfect for that. But man, having a set of 15s along in your system, it's game changing. And if you haven't had the opportunity to do that, Leupold prices this BX5 Santium line so that you could do both. You could get a set of 10 by 42s and very easily get a set of 15 by 56s and you would be covered for 90% of your hunting situations. Having three pieces of glass in your glassing arsenal, like a 10 by 42, a 15 by 56, and say a gold ring spotter or the BX5 Santium HD spotting scope, you would have everything you would need. And because Leupold competitively prices these, you're not going to break the bank getting three pieces of optics. So in short, wrapping all this up, if you're in the market for a set of binoculars or new binoculars or a glassing system, guys, look hard at the Leupold BX5 Santium HDs. I think you're going to be very impressed for the quality versus the price point. These are a top 
tier glass and they perform really, really well. I'm gonna keep glassing for elk because I gotta put meat in the freezer and I'm gonna put these to use to do it. So hey, thanks for joining me on this. Make sure you're checking us out on social media. Drop down, leave us a comment, let us know what else you wanna see. As always, mash that subscribe button. Until next time, we'll see you in the field.